Um, name best MP. Uh, you know, when you look around and you, you hear that, what pops into your mind? Well, I mean, I'm honored to have been chosen by my peers in that way, and uh, um, and I, you know, I, I hope it uh, reflects the, the kind of work that I've done over the years there. But uh, it, it was a, it was a great honor, and uh, especially at this time when you're just about to, well, you keep thinking you're just about to leave because you keep thinking there's just about to be an election, but. <laughs> You know, uh, we'll see what happens next year. You're like the, you're the one new Democrat who really wants an election I to be called, be, aren't you? Well, I, I wouldn't mind making 30 years. So if uh, next year would uh, would be 30 years in the House, and that would be a ni that would be a nice uh, um, sort of way to end it. So if if it lasts that long, that's fine with me. And so, are you going to vote accordingly, just to keep it for 30 years? <laughs> Is that how you're going to? No, do it? I'm. Uh, I'll be voting whatever way the uh, the NDP votes, and yeah. The, uh, you know, if you look at how different it is from when you first went to the house to now, uh, and I'm curious as to what the, the the addition of all those TV cameras and the media, how that's changed the dynamic of, of politics in Ottawa and in this country. Well, I arrived two years uh, after TV. TV started in 77, and so I never knew a TV uh, list, but I did work with a lot of members of parliament who were there before TV, and certainly they were of the view that TV had, had changed the house. And to the extent the question period... Uh, is the main thing that's reported, uh, then you get certain kinds of behavior uh, that get reported and that therefore get reinforced. Now, it's been one of my concerns over the years is that uh, the media tend to reinforce the worst aspects of politics mm -hmm. and, uh, and not cover or uh, the things that are more constructive. So people get, even though there's lots bad to report, you know, one of the re recipes for being obscure in politics is to be persistently constructive. <laughs> and just keep trying to help. Yeah. I mean, being, being a speaker, being in the position you're in, having, the, you know, for this last, what's it been like watching the House from that perspective? Well, I've, I've been concerned about the way the House uh, has operated lately uh, in terms like of there's there. there just too much uh, yelling. I mean, heckling is one thing, kind of banter, exchange, humor, eloquence, mm -hmm. wit. But at the moment, there's just I too much. I haven't seen any wit in a long time in the uh, House and, Bill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, if that, and there, you know, and I have seen that over the years. But uh, at the moment, I think there's an absence of all of that and, and far too much just sort of collective yelling. It's almost like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, uh, be a critical of uh, sports, but, uh, you know, it's not a soccer game. It's not everybody uh, cheering for their team, so to speak. And I think if people would just allow the two people that have the floor, to go back and forth at each other, mm -hmm. we'd have a much we'd have a much better parliament. But having said that, I think a little perspective is in order in the sense that every once in a while I'll run into an article about parliaments of the 60s or or, or even before that, where people say, you know, parliament is, isn't just what it used to be and <laughs> the way politicians behave. So it, there's there's an element of this that goes with the place, but it can actually reach new lows, and uh, and unfortunately I think that that's part of the problem.